If you talk to a woman who is an open door, fear of success says, oh, damn. Now, now I got to show up. Now I got to take responsibility. Now I got to keep growing, which will, which will challenge this belief that something's wrong with me or she's going to find out about me or I'm not going to be able to escalate sexually. Now all these even a more bigger crop of stories will pop up. Hey guys, so this happens all the time. You guys are out looking to approach women and they always pick the women who are closed, who aren't open. Let's get to the bottom of this and we're gonna solve this problem for you. My name's Sam, I'm one of the coaches here at Fearless and this is a Fearless Friday challenge video. So, Open Doors is an idea that came to us from Dr. Robert Glover. He is the author of No More Mr. Nice Guy and was a speaker at one of our events last year. They talked about looking out for open doors. What does that mean? It means it's a woman with energy that is inviting you in, not someone who you have to knock down the walls in order to talk to her. And the funny thing is, as I mentioned before, is that most guys, when they're out in the world, if they, you know, when we're coaching them or taking them around, they say, I want to talk to her. And we can feel like, well, okay, because she has closed energy. Or they might be walking down the street and a woman just glances, catches their eye for a moment, and they don't see that that glance is an open door. So why do we do this? Why do we only go towards closed doors and ignore the open doors? Well, I got an idea about that. We all carry these stories about ourselves. Guys who are struggling with women have stories. We're not good looking enough, not successful enough, blah, 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 blah. Now, so if that's their perspective of the world, that's the world that they see. They subconsciously look for women who will support the stories that we tell ourselves. I know it's crazy, but it happens all the time. This is in the world of the fear of success which is stronger than the fear of failure. Think about that. It took me a long time to figure this out for myself. Fear of failure or the fear of rejection makes sense to our bodies. It's like, oh, she's gonna reject me. Now my stories that I've been telling myself for years are true. And there is a weird kind of comfort in that. If you talk to a woman who is an open door, fear of success says, oh, damn. Now I gotta show up. Now I gotta take responsibility. Now I gotta keep growing, which will, which will challenge this belief that something's wrong with me. Oh, she's gonna find out about me or I'm not gonna be able to escalate sexually. Now all these even a more bigger crop of stories will pop up. So be aware of this. And the challenge is gonna be, I want you to go out in public. You've been learning all about all kinds of approach uh, ideas and the ways to feel into approaches and indirect approaches and things like that. The first thing I want you to do is walk in the world and feel yourself open to the world. Feel the world opening to you. This is a really subtle thing. It's, it, it may sound a little woo woo, but it actually works. You can feel your heart expand and your stomach expand. And as you do that, you might notice that the green of the tree leaves is a little brighter. The, 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 the sky is a little deeper blue. And as you walk around with this feeling, look, be aware of all the women and you'll be able to start to feel who's open, not just to you, but to the world and who's closed. And you're gonna feel this inside of you like, oh my, she's open, she looked at me and that's gonna challenge your beliefs about yourself this belief, which is weird, that I'm not good enough. No, now if she likes you, you're gonna to have to step up. You're gonna to have to step up and show up even more. So, the fear of success. Invite the fear of success. Look for women who are looking at you. Look for women who are feeling you. It could be a barista, and it could be a girl walking down the street or a shop girl, it doesn't really matter. The one thing that I learned is that if a woman catches your eye, even as she's walking by, even fleeting, to her, that's a significant look, possibly an invitation. You can assume, as I did early on, 
that if a woman just glances at me for a moment, my <laughs> limiting belief said she just lost control of her eyes for a moment and stumbled on my eye. No. When someone looks at you in the eye, a woman looks at you in the eye, it means something. At least it means they're curious. It doesn't mean to chase them and grab them or anything like that. It means they're curious and that there's a possibility of an open door. So go out, feel the world, open your heart, and actually look for open doors as opposed to looking for closed doors. If you guys do this, I really would like to hear your uh, the results, the feedback that the world is giving you, and write in the comments below. Also, subscribe, hit the button, all that stuff, just to let us know that you know you like the stuff we're doing, and we'll just keep delivering more and more to you. Okay, go there, have fun, open doors. All right.